Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we have a few things. An unboxing, I'm expecting some parts to arrive. So I'm just giving it a bit of a cleanup. I have a cat, a feline, so to speak, in the room that's been sleeping here. And I only cleaned it about four weeks ago and oh, had to clean this dust filter that goes on the Corsair case. We've got a package to open up. Let's see what's inside. Are you kidding me? Improved customer experience. The no mess, easy to dispose, void fill solution. Increase fulfillment velocity. Easy to use, on demand, on demand packaging. Recycle with ease. Visit how to recycle dot info. Fill air extreme efficiency. Inflatable packaging film. Sealed air product gear. Now, number one, very boring Ganon 645 Black, but it's XL. So you get more than double the amount of pages, 2.2 times, and it's only a few dollars more. So why not? Okay, I've used this before and Hey, no worries, it works great. Okay, save a bit, bit of dosh. All right, we'll put that over there. Next. High speed, let me take it out of the bag. Okay. High speed, four port USB 3.0 hub. Yes. Now, I wanted a hub where you can both charge and do data transfer on each port. And they're hard to find. So if you go to buy a hub, really read the fine print carefully and look for one that can do both, that advertises they can do both. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, multi-port expansion. Turn one USB port into four. Okay. Back, can't really see much there, can you? All right. We'll just open her up and have a look while we're here. And 
what we have. is the four port and this cable is a very thick very uh, high quality feel to it um, like you can a lot of power can go through that cable um, so it doesn't feel cheap at all and this this is metal that's metal okay US B 3.0. Now, if you want me to do some benchmarks on this, like for instance, plugging in my USB external drives, my Samsung T5s, just put it in the uh, comments in the description below. Let me know you'd like to see me do some benchmarks with this baby. All right, let's put this aside. Now, the third and Final product to, to be unboxed is Oracle NVMe M.2 expansion card. PCI Express can handle a two terabyte SSD and up to thirty two gigabytes per second that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot SSDs won't read and write that fast but still it's good to have all that extra room now let's open her up Ooh. okay we've got here I'm gonna remove the BOX okay so we've got this in the plastic, okay, and still some goodies in here. Let's have a look. Ooh, Osgru Ajoriva. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And if you have a screw loose. There's even an M.2 screw. I thought I saw one in there. <gasps> yes, I do. <gasps> oh boy, they're small. They are small. Boom, probably all blurry. I apologize. Let's see what we can do there. Ah, oh, there. Does that, is that better? Okay, we'll go back to the ER. All right. So we're going to open open her up. Okay. Thanks for choosing Oracle. We'd love to hear from you. Oh, isn't that nice? They want to hear from me. Oh. Okay. Oracle PSM2. So we got Chinese. I assume Mandarin or Cantonese, I don't know, but for the English speakers, you just turn her over and then you've got it. Okay, well, I'm going to show you the rest of this and then I'll have a quick read of it. I don't think you need to watch me read. Okay, ooh, what have we got here? Okay, okay, in case your expansion slot's a bit smaller. Okay, you just unscrew these, these screws here. But um, and put the other bracket on. Okay, so here we go, nice, 
nice close look, hopefully. I'll try and get the camera to go right on there. Okay, now you see the copper holes there, the little tiny rows of copper holes? Those are there for cooling. Yes, yes, got cooling right there with the copper holes. Okay, so we're going to take our Barracuda, our Seagate Barracuda Q5 2 terabyte NVMe SSD. Now, I've already run the tests on, in the PC this morning, and that was in the number two slot of an H270 Pro ASUS motherboard because I've got the 770-7700, also known as, you know. And that's the Intel, and we want to be able to use that on Windows 11, and it looks like we will be, so that's fantastic news, like I said in my last video. So, I just was afraid that I wasn't getting as good a speeds as I could because the slot, the second slot in the motherboard where my Barracuda is, is it, it does 16 gigabytes per second while the first slot does 32 gigabytes per second. So we're going to pop this in, the extra um, PCI, P, PCIe slot, okay? Um, it's got the 16 um, that the graphics card uses. It's got two of those. So I'm going to put it in that second one, see what kind of uh, results we get, and see if it works to begin with. And then we, we might try another one of the slots in there as well, okay? Um, and just do a little comparison. So you stick around, and I'll be right back. Well, they sent two M.2 screws in. So this little baby here, let's put it in the middle of my hand. I'll put it in this man. That hand's in better shape. Eh? Okay, that's just going to go on the back. And then the screw goes into it. So it just goes in there like that. Wow. Okay, so that's in now. Okay, I just switched screwdrivers because this is magnetic. The other small one's not. I'm gonna use one of their screws. It actually look they look longer. These screws are um, that they sent with them are longer. M.2 screws, and so I think this is gonna work. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, um, I lost the footage of uh, installing the adapter card, um, but I installed it right into this second PCIe slot here. It's with the light on. It's got the clip there, so you could have the two graphics cards in there. So I put it into this slot. It's the only one that it'll fit into there. This little one and this other one, it, it won't fit into to these okay so I put it into there um, and um, um, I had a failure so I'll explain what happened um, I, I put the adapter card in um, and I was able to um, see the uh, Barracuda which I've put back into the M2.2 slot here um, and I got the same results um, as I, I get with it right here. So um, I did read-write tests, and the numbers were very close to each other. 
um, just margin of error. Um, and But the problem was, as soon as I put that in that slot, the graphics card stopped working and the motherboard's not seeing the graphics card when I do that. I tried uh, multiple things, um, changing in the BIOS, it didn't, uh, didn't work. Um, and um, there's very little um, information on the internet um, in regards to this. Um, and the ASUS um, drawings and stuff um, aren't very detailed. Um, but I'll show you one thing that I found that might be what the problem is. Um, if anybody out there knows for sure, um, please put it in the comments. I'd appreciate it. That'd be great. Okay, so um, let's just carry on. I found this chart in my H270 Pro manual. It says IRQ assignments for this motherboard. When using PCI cards on shared slots, ensure that the drivers support share IRQ so that the cards do not need IRQ assignments. Otherwise, conflicts will arise between the two PCI groups, making the system unstable and the card inoperable. Um, it seems as if the, these PCIe time 16 slots, one and two, one is where my graphics card is and two is where I want to put the M.2. They're shared, so if you have two of the exact same uh, video cards, you can put them in there, um, but most games these days um, don't take advantage of it. Um, so, that's what possibly is my problem, um, why it's not working, and why I have the error uh, with the video card not working when I put the M.2 adapter card into slot 2. Now, no, I didn't put the adapter card into slot wood and the graphics card into slot two. Um, the graphics card is supposed to be in that first slot. Um, so that's why I just didn't muck around with it. Um, so is there a way I can give an IRQ assignment to that slot two for the adapter card on, and get it to work? Well, maybe, maybe not. But uh, um, I just thought when I started on this project that it was going to work, you know. Oh, you just take an adapter card, you can put M.2 on it. Wow, away you go, you can add more M.2s to your computer. Well, I guess it's not that easy. Um, anyways, I hope um, this has helped some people. Um, and, uh, and if you can help me, just put it in the comments and I'd appreciate it. All right, thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.